this is an extract of our brand new business podcast. It's called An Invitation to Meet. You went to COP26 in Glasgow last year. Were others thinking like you? Was that a successful event? Just to make it's huge, Dave. The COP26 was huge. And one of the and the penny dropped on so many different things for me. But listening to Senator John Kerry, the US um, politician, very senior politician, very smart, uh, eloquent man. And he got up and said, look, I've been to most cops, but all have been failures apart from two. Paris was a success because it set the 1.5 degree target. And Glasgow is going to be a success because business and finance are in the room. Now, what is what does that mean? It means that the getting to net zero is not going to be delivered by governments and regulators alone. They have a role to play, important role to play, but that isn't going to be insufficient. Business and industry have to move and have to absolutely, and um, Prince Charles, Prince of Wales, calls it the Marshall Plan. Industries have to be rebuilt from the ground up, and that's going to require a lot of financing. So you need the asset managers, you need the insurance companies, you need the pension funds, you need the banks. Uh, all of them need to need to recognise that the capital that needs to be delivered to businesses, to the BPs and shells. Now, lots of people go, oh, BP and shell, you know, they're the problem. Uh, they caused all this. Actually, we caused all this because of all the stuff that we consume <laughs> and and the stuff that we consume needs to be manufactured and the people that manufacture it need fuel and BP and Shell provide the fuel. Now, there are people that disagree with that, but I'm in the camp of saying, actually, the way to get this, one of the ways to get this sorted is BP and Shell need to be a part of the solution. They need to have a long-term plan to green their complete business and that's not going to happen over, overnight. And I'm happy to say that Bernard Looney, the CEO at BP, who's a good friend, is very much on that um, uh, on that path, and that's that's a good thing. So we need to recognise that they need to be a part of the solution. So has there been a kind of irrevocable change in how businesses operate now? Yeah. And maybe has that been driven by this new generation of staff that's coming through? I think that's it's absolutely true. Certainly true of the businesses at COP. I think some of the pennies that dropped in in COP were that the cost of inaction is now higher than than action and that individual companies need to action, but it's industries that need to mobilise. But you don't also don't have to be Einstein, David, to spend more than 30 seconds with younger staff joining the bank and to ask them how they think about the world. And so you also have to recognise if you're going to be relevant to a new generation of employee. Wouldn't matter if you if you disagreed. <laughs> I mean, I don't disagree with it. But if you were just being practical, you go actually the the organisation needs to move this way because that's the way of future generations. You can listen to this interview in full by clicking the link below.